So for the first part of today's lesson, our big question is, can I use a column method to add five and four digit numbers? The first thing I'd like you to do is think of as many synonyms as you can for the word add. So pause the video now and make a note of as many synonyms for add as you can think of. So some example synonyms for add could be greater than, plus, total, more than, addition, increase, sum and all together. We are now going to look at adding a five digit and a four digit number. Now there is something that we can use when we are adding together two numbers that don't have the same amounts of digits and this is called a placeholder. We use the digit zero to represent a placeholder. So looking at my equation I can see that both my numbers have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands but only one of my numbers has a tens thousand digit. So I know that my placeholder is going to go in the ten thousands column. Now I'm going to look at adding my digits together. I know that two add two equals four. I know nine add one equals ten. So I put my zero in the tens column and carry the one over to the hundreds. I know that nine add four is 13, but remember I carried one from the tens, so that's going to be 14. And I now need to carry one over to the thousands column. I know that two add two is four, add one more makes five, and five add nothing is five. So I can see that 52,492 add 2,912 is 55,404. We are now going to look at adding a five digit and a three digit number. In a moment, I would like you to pause the video and write down which columns I need to include my placeholders in for this equation. You should have written down that we needed a placeholder in our thousands column and in our ten thousands column. So I'm going to start my addition. So I know that four add seven is 11. That goes over 10, so I need know that I need to carry my 1 over into the tens column. I know that 6 add 7 is 13, add 1 more makes 14. Again, I need to carry 1 over to the hundreds column. 0 add 2 is 2, add 1 more is 3, 9 add 0 is 9, and 4 add 0 is 4. I can see that 49,064 add 277 is 49,341. We are now going to look at adding two decimals together. We're going to continue using those placeholders to help us. So if I'm thinking about the place value of both of my numbers, I can see that 45.6 has four tens, five ones and six tenths. I can see that 2.94 has two ones, nine tenths and four hundredths. I can see that 45.6 doesn't have any hundredths, so I'm going to use my placeholder in the hundredths column. I can see that 2.94 doesn't have any tens, so I'm going to use another placeholder in the tens column. Mm -hmm. It will now be easier for me to add my two numbers together. I know that 0 add 4 is 4, 9 add 6 is 15, so I need to carry 1 over into the 1s column. Don't forget your decimal point. 5 add 2 is 7, add 1 more is 8, and 4 add 0 is 4. I can see that 45.6 add 2.94 is 48.54. We are now going to look at adding 56.9 and 7.23. Just like last time, I would like you to pause the video and make a note of which columns we need to use our placeholders in this time. So you should have noticed that 56.9 doesn't have any hundredths. However, 7.23 has three hundredths. So I know that my first placeholder needs to go in the hundredths column. 56.9 has five tens, however, 7.23 doesn't have any tens. So again, I know that I need to use a placeholder in the tens column. 
it's now much easier for me to add my two decimal numbers together. I know that zero add three is three, nine add two is 11, so I need to carry one over into the ones. Remember your decimal point. Six add seven is 13, add one more is 14, carry my another one over into the tens column and five add one is six. I can see that 56.9 add 7.23 equals 64.13. Underneath this video, you will find a link to some activities for you to complete today. You'll be completing questions where you need to add five and four digits numbers together and questions where you need to add decimals together. You can always refer back to this video to help you if you get stuck or use the contact button on the Year 6 class page if you have any questions.